I'm on set with Dress Barn. Come watch me do my thing. When all the eyes are on you and everybody's staring at you and you're thinking, okay, I can't trip, I'm wearing this amazing outfit and everybody in the world is staring at me because not only is it everybody here, but it's cameras, it's video, it's everything. And you get this energy and you're like, I have to pull it together, I have to work. And I, I channel Naomi Campbell and I just go and I give you hips, I give you sway and I give you, I give you the look. And I take it, I take it down the runway and I take it back. And when I get back on the other side of the runway, I'm like, that was amazing. I'm so freaked out, but I want to do it again. And you can't because it's over. Because runway shows are only 10 minutes long. My favorite part of the shoot is Honestly, I like being on set. I like dancing on set. Everybody says, how did you know how to model? How did you learn how to model? I actually just didn't learn. I just started dancing. I saw different girls in the pages of Vogue and Glamour and Elle, and they always kind of looked like they had emotion to their body. And that's exactly what I want it to look like in a lot of my photos. So I just started dancing, but I always make sure that my face is on fleek. There's never a moment where I'm looking like, you know, uh, uh, uh. You have to be in touch with every single part of your body. So I know where everything is. I know what everything is moving. And I can move almost every single muscle in my face. For every photo shoot, I have to be ready because my agent will call me the night before and say, hey, you're flying out to Paris tomorrow morning to shoot a photo shoot for whatever magazine. So I take care of my body all the time. I'm a foodie and I love to eat, but I also want to make sure that it's clean. I will pick out on a burger and fries every once in a while. I am not mad at that, but I'm always, I also work out three to four times a week just to try to keep my, my whole mindset and everything together. I think social media has everything to do with anybody's brand. If you're not on social media and you have a brand, then, then your brand, I don't believe, is going to be as successful. Social media has also built a community for women like me and women who are bigger than me, smaller than me, who thought that they were ugly, who thought that they weren't good enough. There's different hashtags that you can follow and you can see other women like you. And one that I created that I love is called Beauty Beyond Size. And a lot of women hashtag it in their photos of pictures that they probably wouldn't have posted if they didn't think that they had a community that looked like them. I do consider myself a role model. I think you don't go into a job and, and say, I'm gonna be a role model today. It kind of just happens. And I'm so happy to be a role model for so many young women, women my age and even older women now, who haven't really truly loved the, the skin that they're in, who haven't loved the woman that they look at in front of the mirror. And I'm happy to be a voice for them.